Hi, this is Kendra from Pencil and Pigment. And today I'm doing a sketchbook tour of all the things I created for the month of November. Now, I originally started this month <laughs> thinking I was gonna do one thing and then I completely changed direction. And I would say that if you're doing a drawing challenge and it just isn't working for you, it's not inspiring you, you don't feel like you're getting anything from it, then, then do that. Do what you really want to do and you will get more from it. So the products I used, this is the Hanamula Cappuccino book. They also have a gray one. And I used the Derwent charcoal pencil, the Mono Zero, it's the 2.3 millimeter eraser. For a couple of them, I used the General's white chalk pencil and then I used spray fixative for charcoal so let me show you where I started <laughs> here is I started with polychromos colored pencils and I absolutely did not care for it as you can see it needs to be sprayed I used a little bit of the Derwent graphite blocks but I didn't care for it. I thought it looked too dull. And I did a video where I tested this paper and did a demonstration and I'll link that in the description box below. And again, spray fixative. <laughs> so here is what I did. I did a really interesting thing in this book that I've never done before. I went through um, and did the right side only got to the last page and on the last page I started doing the left side and went all the way back through to the beginning to the left side. So the first page I did is sitting right next to the last page I did and I can compare my progress on one spread. So the second page I did next to the second to the last page I did. They're sitting next to each other. Any Nina Simone fans? I love her music. And this was a ton of fun. You can see where I used a little bit of the General's pencil and then I stopped. It just, it didn't feel like it was needed or necessary. And I tried to include, because this is portrait drawing, I tried to include all genders, all ages, all ethnicities. If you're going to practice and learn a skill, I feel this is the best way to do it, to be as inclusive as possible. So this book is really lovely for portrait drawing, for charcoal. Um, because of its color, it does a lot of heavy lifting for the middle shade range for faces. Would I buy this sketchbook again? I'm not sure. I have the Strathmore Toned Tan sketchbook, which I should have done this in. And I've had that sketchbook for four years. So until I fill that sketchbook, I also have a Strathmore Toned Gray. That's a colored substrate that I need to fill as well. Until I fill those, I probably won't buy another sketchbook with sort of toned paper. Some infants. <laughs> uh, facial expressions. <laughs> facial expressions are a lot of fun, but they distort proportions. So I did a video on portrait proportions on sort of just an easy way to make sure that things are kind of lined up. And I'll link that below too, if you are interested in doing any portrait drawing. It makes a wonderful gift for birthdays, for holidays, doing portraits. And I spent about 10 minutes on each face, so a half an hour per page, an hour for two pages. And that is about the amount of time I spent. So just for reference. And on some of these, I did use a paper blending step. So I should mention that as well. 
and I'll link all these products down below if you want to look at them and check them out. But it was a very busy, productive November. I hope your November was lovely too. I haven't done charcoal in so many years and I bought some recently and I just, I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait to use it. It's so much fun. It's so messy, but it's so much fun. And this book could probably use another spray. There's some transfer. So that's the end. That was my portrait November. Um, I would just like to say that I found a lot of these references on Pinterest. There's a lot of really good portraits and model photos and actor photos of interesting facial expressions and inclusion on Pinterest. Um, I will note again, as I did in my a portrait proportion video, that when you're drawing from a photograph of someone, that there is a lot of Photoshop that goes into it. There's a lot of heavy editing. So it's going to make drawing from reference much more difficult. So yes, I hope that helps. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.